cool. And I've got two of these little coins. Oh, God! What the hell? Sorry, what the HE double toothpicks. Hello, Internet. Welcome to game. And welcome to GT Live. Yes, I am alone on the couch today. Chris is here. He, he's here in spirit, though. Hello. Hey, right? He, he's over yonder way. Uh, and the reason why, like I said, Stephanie is gone for uh, the week. Uh, she, she's back home in North Carolina doing some business stuff, doing some personal stuff. But you know what? That's okay. Because today is a very exciting day, but it's a day that's probably best spent with me alone in my thoughts. Because today is, is a day that's been a long time coming at this point. It has been a decent chunk of time since there's been any new updates in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Usually not included on Scott's list of people who get things early, but uh, yesterday, in the, you know, I open up my email like first thing in the morning and it, I, Scott Cawthon emailed me. He was like, whoa, look at this guy. And he's like, hey, just heads up. We're going to send you a code for the game. I made it, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I'm part of the cool club now with Daco and Razbowski and 8 Ryan and all, all the crew who gets access to the games early. I got it for this one. The one thing that Scott did say in his email to me, though, was to... I'll let him know about glitches, because this is kind of like a beta test of sorts. Um, so it's it's partly early access, which I'm really excited about. And I'm like, hey, are you sure there's no embargoes? Like, if you're worried about bugs, are you sure that I should be streaming it? Like, are you worried if on the stream we encounter a bug? He's like, no, fine. I don't. Uh, people are posting videos. Go for it. You know, I don't care about, or what did he say? I, I'm not big on schedules or something like that, which was awesome. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Hopping into FNAF VR. I believe it releases next week. Uh, it was supposed to be this week, but then it got pushed. So I'm excited. I don't know about you, but if there's one thing that doing the live streams has taught me is that VR and horror work really well together. It's really intense. You can flash back to some of our previous VR titles, uh, some of the VR games we've covered on this stream that are specifically horror oriented. And holy cow, it gets visceral in a hurry. So let's, let's do it. Let's literally hop into it. Um, as I get ready here, uh, you might you might have noticed my theory merch. Just a reminder that the spring theory merch is available. Uh, so you got like jackets like this one, which is really cool and embroidered with game theory stuff. You got little shorty socks that are coming in a lot of fun different colors. They come in packs of three. Uh, but just throwing that out. <laughs> okay, uh, just just throwing that out there. Um, because, you know, we worked really hard on it, and I thought you guys would like it. So just so you know, that's for sale and available now. Um, here, let me take off my thumb holes, though, so that way I get the full experience of getting to hold these things. All right. Oh, the light. There's a light back there. That's the game theory thing that we, we launched with. Um, I'm so excited. The reason I laughed when I put this on is the fact that we're already just like, in the pizzeria, <laughs> just with the animatronic staring down at you. It's, it's actually, I don't know, I'm pretty impressed by this. Uh, just the staging of this is really cool at how big and looming over you they are. It's really awesome. What else can you see? So one of the other things that I'm learning about... <laughs> It's <laughs> great. So one of the other things that I've learned from, again, doing a lot of VR games is the fact that you always got to be looking around. And so in a Five Nights at Freddy's Scott Cawthon game who hides Easter eggs everywhere, I guarantee that there's going to be stuff hidden up on the ceiling, down on the floor. I, I would assume, again, it's made by a different team, so I don't know, but I would assume that there's going to be a lot everywhere. And <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Are they moving? Are they? They are. <laughs> oh, that's great. This is awesome. Good. 
I'm already super excited about this. The sparseness of the environment, the fact that uh, the fact that they're just like suddenly moving to follow my eye gaze. Oh, this is this is good. I'm I'm very excited about this. Okay, so pull trigger. What? Did, was that just the monitor coming up? Okay. <laughs> uh, credits. Oh, I can see the credits already. Options. Continue. Uh, wait. If I can, is there a new game? Can I, if I do an option? Are options not available? Maybe not. Credits aren't available. Wait, can you not do new game? No, I can do continue. What? Well, all I did was, of course, Scott would make a game where you can't do new game. All I did was go down a roller coaster. There was a roller coaster? Yeah, through a white void. Wait, do, do any of these work? I need to make sure the game Hold works, up. you know? Wait, can I, can I? Can any of them activate? Hold up. Oh, oh, I gotta hold it. Oh, here, clear data. Oh, oh okay, wow. this will remove all collectibles and reset game progress. Yes, okay. Okay, so you gotta press the button. I, I was squeezing the trigger. Huh, okay, cool. <laughs> game contains slashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. Yep, okay. Look forward, okay, yes. <laughs> I would expect nothing less than lots of jump scares. Fantastic. I've completed, should I look backward? The game's telling me to look forward, but I don't believe it. No? Okay. Fine. I'm there. Ready whenever you are, game. I'm scared of something. Still looking for- I'm, I'm here. Either just a really long loading screen or... <laughs> I'm pressing buttons. Okay. Cool. My ha oh, these are my hands! They are my hands! <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward. Continue. Do you need me to? Just appreciating the atmospheric sound? Is that, that the plan there? <laughs> Have we crashed the game? Why, why is it not working? Oh my god. <laughs> Should I like press it or? Nope, that's the wall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, like Scott said, I, I told you, he told me to watch out for bugs. So uh, Scott, if you're watching this, this might be a bug. <laughs> uh, maybe it's trying to play a mind game with me and I'm not supposed to actually look forward. Maybe this is all just a social experiment. Yeah, maybe this is the whole game. This is the game. How long is Matt Will- He trolled us! Scott trolled us again! <laughs> How long is Matt willing to sit in this VR environment waiting for something to happen? Uh, here, let me try this again, I guess. Freddy's here. I'm gonna quit the app and start again. Let's try it again. Is it Freddy's Win 64? Um, You're not seeing what I'm seeing? No, I... I, I figured not. Okay, here, I'm, I'm reloading it. Here we go. Okay, warning. Game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. Look forward. Great. There. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> this is just him releasing like the troll game like he did. He's like, he's like, I'm giving it to, uh, the code to other people, but you, Matt, you get the troll. So Chris, you said that something happened for you, right? Yeah, you, you cleared all the data. Should I, I just, should I come in there and back every, or it says quit to title. Here, yeah. quit to title. I'm, okay, so quit to title. <laughs> Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. What? Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences what? available. What? By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. well that's one so way to get stay going. a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Wow, I feel so small in this world, which is good, right? Like, that's that's part of horror, is feeling, you know, smaller, not powerful. But, like, I'm surprised at how small I feel in the space. Like, this is really huge in front of me. The stage is, like, towering in front of me. Um, and there's a lot to do, right? Okay, so clearly we have some, like, coin collectibles that we need. It's 11.45, that's interesting. Can I grab this hat, maybe? I cannot grab the hat. 
Uh, what do we got? So we have replay title. Should I replay title? Maybe since I missed something. Oh, is this yeah. what you had? Oh, yeah, there it is. Is this it? Okay. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age. <laughs> and what better way to do that <laughs> a... than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? <laughs> it's a roller coaster. I, this is also the same music from Custom Night, or not Custom we Night, Pizzeria Simulator. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. That's why Scott? we've recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several Watch years. Then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. <laughs> Thank you for playing oh, this the is great. Fazbear Virtual Experience. Okay, therefore, it's recommended that you rest your eyes while accepting these terms. Please close them now for safety purposes. Are your eyes closed? Good, and you agree to preset. Oh, my you God. You acknowledge <laughs> that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for... Oh, there's a camera! ...digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! So, okay, wait. Okay, so now we're back here. Okay, so, huh. So according to that, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, because you went through that too? Yes. That's, that's the thing that I'm, okay, that, okay. So according to that, that means it's saying that there's some real life events from the games prior and there are some not. So this game, this VR experience then is canon inside of the world of Freddy's and is kind of making fun of past events that may or may not have happened. That's really interesting. That is crazy. It's getting, you... Right? It's getting like super meta. So it it also feels like the whole ramblings of a madman and like the, the fake stories seems like this is happening at the end of the whole thing or near like Fazbear Fright like 20 years. No, no, because it would be after Fazbear Fright because Fazbear Fright ha happened it all burned down. So this is like the last game in the timeline, but it's like meta on whole, a bunch of different... Showtime did not work, okay. Showtime did not work, okay. Prize, and it's, I gained a minute. Prize counter. Weird. Oh, oh, okay, so we're over there, so we, we tra teleported over. Man, everything is enormous in this game. Okay, can I grab the trash? I cannot. Can I grab a, oh! Jeez, there was another one of those glitchy things in there. Okay. Weird. I wonder what those are. Okay. Uh, what's this? One. Oh. Fantastic. We're, we're unlocking things left and right. Oh, there's another of these. So are these the collectibles then? Okay, so we got to be on the lookout for glitches, it seems like. Uh, and we can pass through any of this stuff, which is cool. And we can't actually grab any of these um oh this is fun okay oh wait there's another one right up there there's another glitchy thing so am i in the perspective of a kid that's really interesting because like i'm so low to the ground right here right like i think back to my height relative to a prize counter and i feel just either either our settings are just super low or I'm like a kid playing the game. Uh, okay, so I can summon a basketball toy bobblehead special. Summon. Oh, okay, just hold it. Wait, 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 okay. <laughs> I love VR basketballs. They have no bounce whatsoever. Uh, what if I throw you away? Right, is that gonna do anything? No, just teleport you away. I wonder if I can knock that thing off the shelf. Right, these glitches. Okay. So I bet this is gonna be like a bunch of, I bet you just use a lot of these summoning things to like summon Easter eggs. Whoa, hey, that went a lot further than I expected. Hold up, we're gonna make this happen. 
Or maybe I just can't access it yet or something like that? Nope. Wow, I do not know my own strength. Scott, Steel Wool Studios. Clearly, clearly you have forgotten that we are gamers and not basketballers. I did not even throw it that hard. What the heck? I'll do one more time. If not, I'll try this later, maybe. Oh, that was a, okay. That was close. I gotta do it one more time. Huh. There's also this weird... That's weird. Okay, so you see all the plushies, right? And you see the phone, and you see the purple fan, which are from FNAF 4. It's an interesting collection of all the different characters. Is that just a weird coloration on that one plushie? Like, he's just got a weird spotlight on him? Or why is he half green? That's odd. Oh! I thought I had it. Wait, hold up. Can I get it back? Yeah! Take two. Nope! Great. I'll be back for you. I'm coming back. Once I find out what I'm supposed to do with these things. I know... We know that one's there. Okay. So, presumably... So, we still can't access Showtime. So, these are the mini games he said. So, we've got... FNAF 1, FNAF 2. So are these short mini games replicating them or what? Okay, FNAF 3. I love the return of Helpy. That makes me really happy. Ha Helpy makes me happy. Dark Rooms. Looks like Plush Trap. Parts and Service. Okay, this is where I've seen the trailer of. Vent Repair. That's an odd one. All right. Night Terrors with Funtime Freddy. Huh, okay. So, okay, we've got menu for options, and we've got this thing, which... Woo! Oh, this is cool! Oh, this is great! This is like neon glow! Oh, this is awesome! Oh, please tell me that, like, the animatronics are gonna, like, glow in the dark or something. That would be incredible! Wait, so this has changed, though. And there's only one of each. There's a lot of dark rooms. A lot of parts and service. Still vent repair. Huh. So is this going to be... So I'm assuming we unlock whatever all this is. Weird. Okay, here. Let's hop on over to Neon Prize Corner. So that's still there. Nothing really seems all that different here. Is there another one of those things in here? No. Okay, okay. Huh. So this still seems largely the same. If I summon this, is it gonna still do the same thing? Yeah, this is all the same, okay. So it's more like, for now it's an aesthetic change. Yes, caught it! Who's a basketballer now? God, shoot. Terrible, all right, return to menu. <laughs> We're done, let's, let's hop into a mini game, I guess. Um, Night Terrors, I'm... I don't know if I'm ready for Night Terrors yet. Let's go with... I feel like... Uh, vent Repair might be scary. It's VR. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Mangle Vent Repair. Let's try that. That sounds like fun. And there's only two. So... Push buttons. Make repairs. Alright. Cool. Feels like this whole... And so I'm gonna be attacked by Mangle. Grab and release. Pull trigger. Push buttons. Okay. All right. Make repairs. Yep. Here I come. Oh, hey, hey. Whoa. 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 Oh, hey. So these things are going to be hidden Easter eggs everywhere, right? Okay. So... <laughs> this. It's funny because right now I'm just having a good old time, like, checking out the environments and stuff. But I know that Welcome it's... Welcome to Vet Repair. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself that on having things are gonna start attacking me. facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees oh, all that's the nice. time. Thank you. The four active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. Okay. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. <laughs> As a certified <laughs> vent technician, Great. you should need no instruction. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> this is great. It's, it feels like I'm in a haunted house. This is awesome. Oh lord. Nope. 
Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> oh, God! What the? What the heck? Are you effing kidding me? What the heck? <laughs> oh, no! She said, what am I supposed to do? Wait, okay. There's a light. Can we make a shot? Is there? Do it. What does that do? What does that do? Nope. Nope. Okay. Hey, I, I, oh, no. Can't turn that back. Find the stop. That way's hand. What does it do? So. Nope. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, this is super creepy already. It's so claustrophobic. I, like... And I, I'm sorry that VR games are always so hard to... St I mean, they're fun to stream, and you guys seem to enjoy them, but it's so hard for me to convey to you the level of claustrophobia and, like, nervousness that you feel being trapped here. Like, it is so visceral to be here and turn over your shoulder and see something approaching you from a di like, that you don't expect to be there. It is intense. Let me just throw that out there. Like, already, this, I, I can say hands down already this is the scariest FNAF game, just because I'm so paranoid by what's happening to my left. And, God, get away! I hear you! There. Did that do anything? That two? That two lights? Great. Oh! Oh, now he can come through two! Oh, no! I get it! What, what are we doing here? Yeah, there's, yep, it's steamy. Oh no! Oh no! Well, yes, thank you! I know it's steamy. Stop. 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 Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Where are you coming from? Oh god! <laughs> this is great! It's so intense! I'm so paranoid! Uh, well done, Scott. And, yeah, and team. Nope, don't, don't reach into the gear. There, okay, so you can really, you can tell when he's coming at you. Okay, so that I turned off that. So the steam, where are you at? I hear you, I hear you. Where are you at? He comes fast, too, is the thing. Okay, so this is open now. So this is probably going to unleash the, the third vent. <laughs> there, okay, great. Go. Where are we at? Where's it going? Three? Where's three? Where's three? Oh, Lord, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is, this is so intense. This might rate up there. With chair in a room, green water. Wow, he comes fast. Okay, caution. Rip. Oh, hey, 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 what was that? Hey, hey, hi, hi, hey, hi, hey, hi, hi, hey, hi. Uh, nope. Okay, look down here. Green, orange, blue, red. Green, orange, blue, red. Easy, right? Green, orange, blue, red. Where are you at? Come on, come on. I'm waiting for him. I also like this. There he is. Green. Orange, blue, red. I also like this because I feel like I have control, right? One of the things that you always get frustrated about in Five Nights at Freddy's games, and this reminds me of the Game Lab episode that we did, where I feel like I can kind of like, I have more control over my surroundings because I'm not limited to like a couple button presses, but like I can turn my head and immediately like the light follows me. So you add to the horror and you add to the terror of this. My legs are literally shaking. Ooh, hey, buddy. But, oh, shoot, 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 no, no. Oh, hey, hey, what? Hey, hi, 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 hey. Hey, hi. Did I pass? Did I win? A perfect 72 degrees. Oh, great. Good job. No problem. See you next time. Yeah! Great! Huh. Awesome. Oh, the fan.
game one, claim your prize. What else we got? I don't, I don't trust you, Jack in the Box. I, nope. Nope. Okay. I guess, I guess we'll go with it. Here we go. Just stand back. <laughs> What is this? Lemon Chica Bar. What? Oh, so it's just like a... Cool. Can I eat it? Yes, I can! Great! New more energy! Continue. I like how you, like, actually made a bite motion with your mouth there. <laughs> I wanted we to make... you're enjoying the Fazbear Virtual Experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. <laughs> if you see any such artifacts, we recommend that you not interact with them. Yep. We'll okay. weed them out eventually. Huh. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's great. Huh. Okay. All right. All right, game. Uh, so there's visual artifacts, huh? So I'm assuming that's going to be where we're... So we have these apparently glitchy cassette tapes. And then we also have these uh, tokens to collect and look for. And we have these visual artifacts, right? So I feel like starting to piece together what the lore clues will probably be hidden in. Huh. All right. So, so I'm assuming that at some point things are going to just attack me from all these different exits, right? Like, we can, we can all agree that at some point something terrifying is going to start peeking in from over there. <sighs> All right, let's do another let's do another vent repair because that was fun. That was a lot of fun, but it was intense. <sighs> okay, this is grab and release, pull trigger. Yep. Okay, push buttons, make repairs. Okay, great. Any Easter eggs? Any cassette tapes or anything? Okay, can I grab these? I cannot. No, I'm just moving that. Okay, here we go. Entered. Huh. Our good friend. Good friend entered. Hello. So, huh, employee zone. This is interesting. So this is, whoa, whoa, hey. Huh, so this is FNAF 1? Based on the design of the pizzeria, this is the FNAF 1 location. <laughs> yes. When you do enough research on these, you can just tell based on the wall textures. Uh, weird, okay. Employees only, huh. Okay, anything? Hey! Hey! I really don't like peeking out of the safe zone. So again, and, and it's interesting too, going back to the Game Lab episode where we recreated FNAF, the thing that I talked about in that, and the thing that ultimately, and the thing that was like actually really educational to me is when you're in these sorts of scary situations, and I think that this is reinforcing that in a lot of ways, you're really hesitant to want to like leave your safe space. Right? And so here, can I face through this door? Whoa! Oh, I can! What's over here? Anything? I wouldn't put it past Scott to put like some lore clues behind some of these textures. Um, or tell the team to put some lore clues behind this texture. Huh. Is that like a suit rack or something? Interesting. Um, and so I'm really feeling that impulse here, too. Where I'm feeling the impulse of like not wanting to leave my safe zone. But at the same time, I feel my safe zone completely... Huh. That's interesting. I feel my safe zone, like, continually being encroached on. Interesting. All right, let's press the button. Welcome to Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. It has been zero days since last incident. Oh, this is Emergency Circus Emergency ventilation babies. repairs may be necessary to reach the boiler room on sub-basement G. Huh. We apologize for the claustrophobic accommodations of the secondary service elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above To Floofy grade. Boy, who says, now, this ain't accounting plus. No. You are correct. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. And you can, it's, it's on top of you, too, which is maybe the worst. Oh, good. It sealed it up, at least. Hey, no. Oh, no. You're coming on top of me, aren't you? Where, no? Motion trigger. Hey. Breaker room. Hey. What? Thanks, Jeffy Jeffy. Hey. We what? love what? your hey. views. Thanks for Th watching. What? What? Nope. This sucks. Okay. Are you coming on top of me? You are, aren't you? Okay, so this is... Okay, I get this. This is follow... 
Where is it going to attack me from on top? It's, it must be, right? Or in front. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, right? I, I, with Mangle, it was clear where he would attack from. Here, it's like, nope. All right. So this is clearly follow the chords and press the corresponding button, right? So this, this is one. Two is this one. Three is this guy. This guy. Woo. Nope. Four is this guy. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. God. Good sound design. Really good sound design. Like, oh, hey, hey. Oh, this is okay. All right. Here. Feather Song says, my heart is racing just a little. Right? This is intense, man. Okay, this one is this one. And this one was the last one. No, well press it. Yes, good. <laughs> Chloe Holloway says, Matt being afraid to leave his safe zone is my spirit animal. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just cuddle up in a blanket, friends. Hey. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's Ennard. Oh, jeez. Wow, he's like totally... What the heck? Am I supposed to do this just really fast? Oh, okay. Oh no, okay. This, this one's here. Uh, oh geez, he's so, okay. So he's just gonna attack me, isn't he? This one? Uh, hey. Oh geez, this one's really far away. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. This one, this one, this one. Okay, hey, okay, last one, last one, hit it. Good, shut it, shut it. Shut it down! Oh! What the heck? Oh. No, damn. That was incredible. Okay, this is great. This is great. I'm sorry. This is awesome. I'm really excited about this. It's so scary. Hey. Holy. Oh, hey! Weird. There's, I feel like there's so many places to hide Easter eggs everywhere. What is, what is Puppet Bon doing? That's so interesting. Or Bon Bon? Hey Bon Bon! What are you doing in the ventilation shaft, Bon Bon? What's this? What's another one of those coins? Okay. Motion trigger, secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. Great, fantastic, great. Uh huh. Oh! What? What do you want? Get out! Go! Leave! <laughs> Leave! Ah! What? Stop! Stop! Get out! Leave! No! No one wants you here, creepy! Oh! What the heck? What the heck? Ah! Oh. That's not creepy at all. Weird. So I got cupcake. That's cool. Can I can I pick you up? Are you gonna jump scare me too? Nope. Okay, great. You can tell, like, just by how my hands shaking. Huh. So what was I supposed to was I supposed to just do stuff and hopefully like shut it fast enough before he attacks me, maybe? Here, let's let's try that one again. Now that we know what we're up to. Toxic Watermelons says this is terrifying. Welcome right, this to Circus Babies Entertainment. Legit. It has been zero days since last incident. Okay. Emergency ventilation key, repairs may down. be necessary to reach the boiler Same. room on sub-basement G. We apologize for the Circus claustrophobic babies. accommodations of the secondary service elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above your pay grade. Now, <laughs> I missed that first time. Work. Man, okay. So again, it's important to remember that even though these are mini games, these are all VR experiences inspired by the events of Five Nights at Freddy's as canon within the universe, which is, that's weird. Motion it's very meta. Breaker room. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so we know how to play this game now and I feel like I don't have to be quite as worried. There, two, there, there, great. Three, should be this one, and four. Well there done. Go. Get out of here, go, shut, 
Shut, shut it down! Okay. <laughs> this is so intense. Okay, this is... This guy? This is... This guy? Did I do that right? Yeah, that was right. Okay, good. This is... This guy? Boop, boop. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Go. Okay, so here's Ennard. So I'm assuming this is when Ennard starts to become active, is with this one. And I, and I think this one's just a timing thing. This is... This guy? This is... This one. Okay, hey, 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 hey. This one is... Ooh, 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 Where's this one go? Shoot, where's this one go? Damn it. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, nope. This one, this one, this one. Well there we go. Get out of here. Okay, so now he's, I think this is a scripted event. Yeah, okay, good. That's awesome. That's such a good event. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. So, interesting. So I wonder if Bon Bon, what was that? I wonder if Bon Bon is still gonna be, whoa, hey, what, what, what? He's still gonna be hanging out over here, right? Is he not? Was that just an Easter egg? Maybe that was just an Easter egg. Huh. All right. Apparently he did, oh. Oh, here's this coin again. Okay, so this, I'm assuming, go, no, here, Motion here. Trigger. There, go there. Secondary service, uh, elevator ventilation uh, shaft. What am I supposed to do, what am I supposed to do? Okay, okay, there's, there's him. Oh, there's one. Okay, hey, hey, okay, get out of here. Go, 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 go. Get, go, get, go, 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 get, 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 go, get, go. Where, where is the, oh shoot. Okay, I think what I'm supposed to do is just find the gears and put them in the right place, but I would, oh, I'm so dead. He's gonna jump scare me, I know this. Yep, 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 do it, do your worst. Do your worst, I know you're coming. Where, where are the gears, where are the gears? Show me the gears! Oh God. Uh, where are you, gears? Gears, gears. Uh, uh, hmm. 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 Oh, he's gonna jump scare me. I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, here. Oh, this one. What? What did that do? What? What, <laughs> what is this? Oh, geez. Okay, I kind of maybe... I'm starting to get... Okay, here. Here. So this blocked him, right? Is that what that's telling me right now? So he's... What? Shoot, 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 shoot. No, I need, I need the gear back. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I get it now. Nope, maybe not. Get over here. Nope, hey, hi. Wait, put, put this, put, put this back. I don't, I don't want you anymore. I want this gear. Why are you gone? Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, here, this releases it. Okay, that, okay, this releases it. This goes, no. Nope. Ah, damn it, damn it, okay. Okay, I kind of get it, kind of, kind of. So that's a, so the vent protector is preventing him from jump scaring me. So I need to do a, like a shifting slate of like move the gears to open and shut those gates in the right time. So that way by the end, I get all the gears over to that final area and then unlock the thing. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Whoo! It is intense Welcome to try and to have to solve this stuff and while you're <laughs> while you're freaking out. Ah, oh, a horror puzzle game, man. This is fun. Motion trigger, breaker room. Okay. Here we go. All right, so this we are pretty familiar with at this point. It's there, it's there, it's there and here. Well Great. Done. This one over here now. Courtney Balthazar says, we need to send Matt a get better gift package after this traumatic right? event. <laughs> right, this is, I like that they have the disclaimer of like, we're not responsible for any nightmares induced. 
because uh, I could see, like, this is, I mean, like I said, this well is intense. Done. Like, legitimately, I am very nervous and scared. And I know that in order to probably unlock everything, I'm going to have to, like, stick my head into, like, these scary areas and all this. Like, that would not surprise me in the slightest to see that having to be the case. Oh, shoot, this is way far back. Uh, which is going to here. Ah! Okay, this one's going to here. Here. Well Go. done. Okay. God, Leonard, what a knock! Oh, it's so obnoxious. Get out of here. Go. Leave, leave this place, man. Oh. Whoo! This is fun. Remember, always practice safe Wii moding. I I keep hearing stuff happening here. Right? Like, I, I keep hearing all these random sound effects. Expecting them to do something, but I don't know what. Here, I'm gonna phase my head through here. See if there's anything interesting down here. Doesn't look like it. And it must have been just a random spawn? The bonbon? Bon? Huh. Fascinating. All right. All right. So here we go. So these block, grab this. And this, oh no! Motion trigger, secondary Shoot. service, elevator oh. ventilation shaft. I dropped the gear into infinity. That was probably not a good thing. Okay, here we go. So now we got this, right? So now, so he can attack me through. That's kind of what I'm confused about. Like, what can he attack me through? Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, where are you at? Oh, oh hi. Hi. Oh, God. Nope! Shoot! Shoot! I drop. No, I drop. I drop my gear. Drop my gear. No! Damn it! I keep dropping my gear. Okay. So he's here. I just don't know what cues him to attack is the the tough thing about this, right? That's the problem. Okay. Hi. Okay. Here we want this gear. Then we want this decent sized gear here. Oh shoot! Damn it! Ah! Small gear. Ah, where? No! Stop! Nope! 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 Well good. Done. Yes, go, go. Go, go, go. I think this might just be a speed thing, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure. Hey. I'm not sure. Oh, that was. Hey, hi. Oh, that's. That's the roof shutting. See, we're learning stuff. These still don't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Nope, still nothing. Ooh, hey! Getting down into the boiler room. Oh, <laughs> great. The gates of H-E double toothpicks! Ha, <laughs> ha. All right. Hey. Yay, this is totally fun and totally cool. Motion trigger. Boiler room. Yep, thank you. All right, so what do I gotta do? Where, and where, uh, are there, so is he, oh, there he is. Okay, so he's there. Uh, connect the pipes through to where? Three, one, two. Well done. Okay, great. So get from the start to the end. That makes sense to me. That's not too hard. That's like a pipe. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Bioshock a bit. So this is one and two, and then you can rotate the whole thing? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And where am I trying to get to? Okay, so I'm gonna need to rotate it. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, home slice. Two. Then it's gonna go, no, I need it one more time. Hold up. There, down to there. Yeah, good. That wasn't too bad. Great, shut the door. I don't. <laughs> great, great. This is the one that's gonna be timed, right? The other ones were teaching me the method. All right. Hey, what? Hey, what's what's this? What what what's this? What's this? What's what? What's 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 spinning? What? Well done. A perfect 72 degrees. See you next time. What?
Oh, wait. So we just burned him alive? Is I guess. It, is that what that is? I can't think of what else it would be. Right, because you turn on the furnace, and then you hear him scream, right? So we just literally burned Ennard alive. Wow, that's interesting. Cool, yay! I deserve a reward. I deserve meat bites. Great. Yay! Um, 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 160 calories, man. I don't know if I can afford that. My caloric diet. There we go. Yay, event completion. Cool. And I've got two of these little coins. Oh, God! What the hell? Sorry, what the H-E double toothpicks. What happens if you go over there? I don't think I, I, I'm, this seems like a pretty stationary game. Is he moving toward me? What are you? So he's, okay, so let's, <laughs> let's look at this thing, right? So he's got purple eyes and he's, he's got five fingers. So is he like, but he's not like a golden bonnie. He's not, his design is so different from everyone else. It looks like he's got a vest on and a bow tie. And five fingers, which means he's an older or like a true suit model. Huh, weird. 